welcome back. Uh, as you or you may not know, uh, Asus has released a new update for our Asus ROG phone. Uh, the update would be a stable update. So here's the problems that are fixed. It fixed the problems when uh, where you could use air trigger squeeze function when opening some games in the landscape mode. Fix the problem where Asus Zen screen external screen cannot be touched. Fix issues where icon shape setting developer options do not work. Fix problem where time info on the status bar disappeared when receiving a call and unlocking the device. Number five, fix the problem where startup time is location taking too long. Uh, this is a problem actually for all of us it takes us uh, some while before we could especially when we, re we reboot our phone and let's see fix setup wizard not completing issue remove twitch streaming function for so for you guys using twitch in game genie sad to say that won't be there once you start doing the update so there's two ways to update okay uh, you could use the asus updater so as you can see, uh, these are the change log for Asus Updater. So you could either download that update from there, or you could download it from the link that I'll be putting on the description below. So for you to update, uh, just download the update to Asus Updater, and you have to rename it to this to this update here. Okay, just rename, save to internal storage. And rename it but you have to understand if you're coming like like from beta 11 and going to this update which is like the beta 12 update it's a stable update but they call it beta 12 on the uh, telegram group so you'll have to download the 126 MB file but if you're coming from the official uh, update from the ASUS website you just have to download this Google Drive link here. So as you can see from my phone, I'm using the official here. I'm using the official update from the uh, Asus site, which is the 2001.60. Uh, I flashed my phone using the raw file, so that would be the considered the latest update from the Asus site. It's, uh, and it's also it's not yet available on any Asus site right now. So as you can see, it's still not available here. But it, I think it will be soon available there. So let's get it on. Uh, let's start it up. I already downloaded the update here. As you can see, it's already in my internal storage. Uh, I downloaded the update. It's a 2.4 gig update. Uh, this is because I'm coming from the official version, but if you're, I haven't tried yet this uh, 185 MB, but in my impression it might fail, I'm not saying it will, but it might fail, because I think this update is made for those already from the beta 11, as stated in the telegram group. So as soon as you have it on your internal storage, all you have to do is restart your device. So you can ignore this update already from Asus Updater. So just restart your device and it should get detected automatically. Okay, so I'll be back in a while. I'll just restart my device and we'll continue with the software update process. Okay? Okay. Okay, so I already have restarted my device. And as you can see, Aside from the system update detected by Asus Updater, the file was detected already because I downloaded it and placed it on my internal storage. So as usual, for those you know, for those people who knows how to update, just click on that. Update will be detected. Then click OK. And as you can see, the update will now start to continue. Here, system update. You can see it's one percent. So I've been reading also on, our, on the Telegram group that this update fixes issues with the game uh, Call of Duty, COD. I'm not actually sure because as you still know, I'm still doing the update right now. But leave your comments down below. So to, to let me know if it 
really fixes issue on Call of Duty for you guys playing the COD out there and basically that's it let's see if it's we're at 9% so a lot of you guys have been uh, having log lags and crashes playing that game uh, I've been reading some articles about it and since most of us are in lockdown already like here in the Philippines our country is on lockdown and I think the game save the game servers are too congested uh, as with most of the world not only in the Philippines because a lot of people are staying at home and just playing games and everything so that that could be one of the reasons why the game usually crashes and, la and lags well crashes I think it depend it depends on the phone but or the software of the phone let's hope that this update fixes it so if you have any other questions don't feel free to put the questions down below I'm still doing my best to answer all your questions on my YouTube channel it's really hard to be answering on a timely basis because there's a, like, a lot of you guys already which I'm very thankful for subscribing to my channel thank you so much all of you uh, you're like almost 3,000 now and I'm very happy that all of you are still watching my channel and once again thank you so much I'm doing my best to answer all of your questions so that's it let's see let's hope this fixes this update and uh, also uh, I've been reading an article regarding Android 11 and I, I saw a post on Asus saying that Android 11 will be out uh, on beta on May and I hope we could get that also it's just uh, sad to say that Asus based on the article Asus said that they only do two updates two major updates on a specific phone so if we're at an ROG which came out with uh, Android Pi and we got one major update for Android 10 I guess Android 11 will be our la last update because they're not into this you know software update thing Asus has this problem with this uh, software problems even back with uh, ROG 1 so let's see let's hope we get into the beta program again so I could help you guys out so we're almost there we're now at 60% So if you guys uh, don't have the ASUS updater yet, uh, it's on my previous video, you can just search that and download it there so you won't have a hard time doing the updates in the future. Okay. So let's see, wow we're, all, we're already at 69%. Let's see how fast the boot up time it would take. Hopefully it really speeds up the restart process on these phones. Also, uh, some of you have been experiencing problems with, you know, overheat port, overheating ports on your phone. Uh, I've been reading also articles about this on the Telegram group and, uh, and whatnot. Uh, most of the issues coming from uh, this, most of the problem is narrowed down to using Asus cables and Asus charger so ever since I bought my phone I never use an Asus charger or an Asus cable so that's why I don't have this problem I can't vouch for those people but most of these people using that uh, narrowed it down to using that type of charger so I'd avoid it if I were you guys Asus doesn't make really good chargers that's the main reason why I I haven't been using those their chargers and cables. I just keep it in the box. So we're at 86% now. Let's also hope that this uh, this fixes screen recording. And since some of you are having issues with screen recording, especially when playing games, it records the mic and the background volume at the same time. 
so let's hope this fix that okay we're at 91 percent so guys let me know what you think about this update as soon as you downloaded it and you know installed it uh, for me as I always say I, I always update my file uh, my phone to the latest firmware because I want my security patches to be always uh, as updated as possible so it's up to you if you're into battery life I think Android 9 would still be better in terms of battery life but if, if you're into security patches like me I'd still go for Android 10 so we're at 98% 99% let's just wait for it then we restart the phone and we check if we get to update this successfully all right We're almost there there system update successful please restart your device system up let's see now so I'll be getting back to you as soon as I restart my device okay so I'll be back okay we're back so a pop-up just appeared right now saying that I was able to update my phone successfully so let's check our system right now if it's there so we're at 2002.32 so we're fully updated now okay so well that's the steps on how to update your phone and I'll be back to teach you more tutorials in the future okay so thanks again for watching don't forget to like and subscribe my channel and see you soon okay thanks guys until then